Eddie, you monster, it's incredible, oh my God. Yo, welcome to On The Tools. I am Jay Gringo Green, and I am joined by the man himself, Mr. Eddie. Oh. Hello. <laughs> There's no better feeling than being handed that trophy literally better than the day my kids were born, literally, and I mean that. So how did you first get into the strongman game? So strongman for me, I remember when I was like five, six years old watching the final of World's Strongest Man. And um, we're all sat around the TV as a family. We're all mesmerised by these men, you know, pulling trucks, lifting out the stones. And I said to the family there, you know, brothers, mum, dad, I'm going to be on that screen one day. I'll be the world's strongest man. And they all burst out laughing, you know, like another typical Eddie sort of comment, like, oh, shut up, whatever. And I think that subconsciously stuck in the back of my head throughout all my childhood. And I decided at 19 years of age that this is going to be my new career. And uh, I made the announcement when I was 19 on my first competition that I'm going to be the world's strongest man. Made it very vocal, put it on social media and whatever else. And pretty much 10 years later to the day, became the world's strongest man. Did your parents never push you to get a trade like mine did? It was actually my parents that found me an apprenticeship with mechanic -ing. Now, I got told yesterday actually that on the tools, they actually consider mechanic in a trade. That's what I got told. Do you consider it? I consider it. Well, trade. you're the strongest man in the world, so you make it the world. <laughs> if I say it's Tuesday, yeah. it's Tuesday. Yeah. So I've seen you've been spending a lot of time with your hero, which is Arnold Schwarzenegger. It is indeed, yeah. Yeah, how is that? When I pulled a world record deadlift for the very first time, Arnold was there shouting me on, and we had this magical moment after the deadlift where we do the old predator handshake. He's like, yeah, Eddie, you monster, it's incredible, oh my God, wow. Arnold actually nicknamed me the Beast that day, and that's where the brand came from. If he would have called you anything, would you have stuck with it? Yeah, no? definitely. <laughs> the Bellend. <laughs> the Bellend. The <laughs> So, um, as for the, the mental, the strongman game, is there any mental health side effects that you've occurred through the sport? I think strongman is a very lonely sport, whether you've got a good family around you or not. I believe that, you know, if you want to be in the best of world or something, you've got to isolate yourself. I was training sort of five hours a day. I was eating non-stop. Uh, in between that, I would do nothing but sleep. Uh, every living waking moment was eat, sleep, train, repeat. One point leading up to World's Strongest Man, I was probably spending an hour, maybe two hours a week with my family. And that became very lonesome, but I always had that end goal of becoming the world's strongest man and changing my life for the better. So do you think if, if you never ended up getting into the the powerlifting, you would have stayed swimming, do you think you would have accomplished the greatnesses you have in the weightlifting side? 100%. There's no doubt in my mind. You know, when I was on the GB squad, um, I, you know, I was training 20 to 25 hours a week in the water whilst doing school. And I was obsessed with that. You know, I broke British records in swimming. I, I won God knows how many gold medals at the national championships. But I can sit here now and it's like there are thousands of people that have won a gold medals for the Olympics. And I mean, probably hundreds of thousands. I think now there is only 20 men on the planet that have ever won the world's strongest man. And there's only one man that's ever pulled half a ton off the floor. And that man's sat right here. And that, that to me is a better accolade. I used to be a scaffolder for a long time and on my, on my building sites, the lads would try a challenge yeah. And what you'd have to do is stand a 21 foot scaffolding tube up in one goal. Do you think you could do that? Yeah, definitely. We'll give it a go. Okay. This, this is the real competition. I'm ready. Just let me finish <laughs> off this bacon sandwich and we're all go. There you go. If you want to take over. Okay. <laughs> Bloody hell. <laughs> all right. Let's have a go at two. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> 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 I don't think I get three. <laughs> I don't think I get three. I don't think I get three. <laughs> 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 